so in this uh, we are going to create a class and this is exercise 4 in which we are creating a particular program in which we are using a, a class oops oops uh, class with parameters so we are we are passing the parameters here and uh, we are we are creating this particular uh, program so here in this program so first and foremost is i'll be creating a i'll be uh, defining a class and the class i'm giving it as class c1 definition and n class so in this class i'm i'm taking the public section so pu public section either any one of this section is mandatory in which we are creating three methods now and uh, these methods happens to be set increment and get so set increment and get and the set increment and get what will have is we'll go ahead with set is a method so methods with that methods set importing value set underscore value type i and then we have increment increment is the second method and uh, get is the third method here we are writing exporting value get underscore value type i now these are the things that we have we have private section and in the private section data count type i so this is what we have in the the definition part then we'll go for the implementation part so in this if you see if you observe here we have given we have defined a, a class with three methods set increment and get these are the three methods then we have defined some attribute count and that count is of type i this is what we have used now we'll go ahead and uh, do the next next process here Now here we'll go ahead with class c1 implementation now for implementation we have to all we have to first let me close this m class and in this for the implementation we will be going ahead with method set and method method set and method and in this we will be writing something like here we are writing this uh, count is equal to set underscore value so what is set underscore value we will later point of time we, we can pass the parameters because this is given as a parameter we can pass the values from outside the class so the values from outside the class can come inside the class only through parameters you cannot do any other way so it's it's like a gateway to get into the class and get out of the class just like in function model we had import parameters and export parameters right those are the gateways so here same way same way we have the gateways import parameters and export parameters so set underscore value can be assigned some value dynamically in, within the program that value is assigned to count is what we are giving in the in the first method and then we have method method increment is that correct increment okay and method okay in this we are going to write add one to count okay so just one simple line and then again we have to maintain the increment implementation for method get so for the method get and method so we'll write get uh, that count is there right so now get underscore value is equal to count 
since what will happen here the count value will be assigned to get underscore value now so now let's say for, for our understanding we have given the value of set underscore value we have we have passed the value of set underscore value as 5 then count also will become 5 here in the set in the increment add 1 to count means add 1 to 5 so it will become 6 and now count value will, be, will become 6 and 6 is passed to the get underscore value this is what we have now once it's been done we'll go ahead with data obj type of 2 c1 now obj is a class now startup selection create object create object obj create object obj and then we have we are, we are going to call this call method call method now here before this we want to declare something like you know i'll, I'll declare something like data in this we'll write something like in the same one we'll write we'll, i'll keep this in the second line uh, i'll write number or n n1 type n1 type i n1 type i n1 type i n1 type i value value 5 value 5 call method opj opj then set okay and in this we are we are going for exporting exporting set underscore value is equal to this num n1 n1 for which we already have a default value is 5 right so that n1 is what we are doing so here we are doing n1 okay so here set underscore value is the parameter So here this is the one next i am going for do five times call method call method obj increment increment and end do okay so then we have call method obj get importing get underscore value is equals to n1 now what we are doing we are saying write n1 so with this what we are doing is we are understanding how the parameters have been passed into the class outside the class just like we have done a simple uh, simple project in c is equals to a plus b in function model right some let's similar something similar to that so we are passing the parameters let's understand the program now in the program execution this is the first method that gets executed obj set set exporting set underscore value now let's go to the set okay it will it will trigger the set oh here i need to give it comma right okay so set if i double click on the set it will go to the set now in the set it will it will see count is equals to set underscore value but what is set underscore value set underscore value already has a value here see here n1 n1 is having value of 5 here so n1 is 5 means set underscore value also becomes 5 now it will take that value and get into inside the class inside the class this is value is 5 and 5 is equal to count count also becomes 5 and then it will come back to the program and it will call the increment in the increment if this is 5 5 we are adding a 1 to 5 and this will become 6 
so the count value becomes 6 after this what we have is after it will become 6 then it will go to the call method this one and then we have the get underscore value in this n1 so now what is what happens here is in get count value has become 6 and thus get underscore value becomes 6 now that so get underscore value has become 6 6 will be passed to n1 then n1 also will become 6 so n1 also becomes 6 so write write n1 means 6 but since we have done this for 5 times this value will become 10 so value of that in the output will become 10 here you can see that it's 10 the value has come as 10 okay now let me make this as 15 times so 15 plus 5 that will be 20 obviously so let me execute and show this will be 20 so this is a simple program to understand the uh, implementation of a class uh, the definition of a class implementation of a class also most importantly the parameters so whatever parameters that we have here to understand the parameters this this program helps us to understand the parameters concept this is the program once again i'm going through the program here class definition class implementation and then we have the program now in the latest technique as i was telling uh, latest technique we can also have this shortcut of this uh, uh, this thing so we can write this this has same thing we can write as obj set in the bracket you can write n1 that's it so now here I'm doing the syntax check it is perfectly fine now when I execute this and execute this this works perfectly fine okay now what we can do is we can also do the same thing for the for this uh, the next method also in this instead of this we can write this as the shortcut way of writing it. in the latest version it works obj increment and we are not writing the call method obj increment yeah but for importing it doesn't work for importing you have to write importing for sure increment Okay, we are writing this OBJ set. Okay, so we need to keep that bracket so that the system understands that it is uh, the method. So we need to, if we don't have any parameters, we just need to keep a blank one. And here the same thing happens with this one as well. So what we'll go, what we'll go ahead with the call method. So no need to write the call method obj get and here it is mandatory for us to write importing importing is mandatory importing get and score value is equals to n1 here we'll just go So we have this 20 this is what we have okay so this is about the short shortcut way of writing the 
calling the methods okay so this is what this is what is a program simple program so once you execute it it will be it will be more clear for you if you haven't yet subscribed to our channel please do subscribe and uh, and also like the videos if you if it, it if it is helpful for you and also write do write the comments that that will actually encourage me to do uh, even more better sessions thank you